Hey, Kevin, what's in the box? Oh, the, the really nice man in the big brown truck was just here. And it looks like this is Longevity's new multi-process machine. This is a MIG, TIG, and stick all in one box. Oh, man, we got just a whole pile of goodies that were in that box. So a, a real nice uh, MIG gun with a couple of extra tips for it. A good sturdy uh, stinger for the arc welding, you know, the SMAW. This is the torch for the, uh, for the TIG welder. Really, really nice. I really like the way this fits in my hand. It's got the amperage wheel built right into the top of the handle itself. So you can control amperage all the way from zero, all the way up to max whatever is set on your control panel. So it's just like a foot pedal, only it's right here under your finger. So once you get used to where this sits on the torch, and you know how your fingers feel, you know, practice with a glove on how this feels in your hand first, but boy, this is really, really handy. I really like this. And this even is removable, so you can get different styles where the scroll wheel is a slider or it's a vertical wheel that scrolls rather than a horizontal wheel. So you could change this out depending on what you're doing. Nice little box of consumables, you know, a short cap, a long cap, some collets and some, some cups to go with the torch, a set of drive rollers to work with the, uh, with the spool for the MIG gun. So you have three different sizes, so they have different grooves in them from one side to the other. Well, you've got four different sizes of wire here that you can use with this machine. And then just a nice sturdy ground clamp, and it comes with all the directions on a CD or DVD rather, you know, so you can like put it in your laptop, take it right out in the shop with you. The directions are there, the warranty information is there, it's got a bunch of videos about different kinds of types of welding. I believe I'm in there somewhere. <laughs> and then we have the machine. So here, come check out the control panel. So this is the Longevity uh, Pro MTS 200. So it's a 200 amp machine, three in one. So it's got the MIG, TIG and stick all built in. This is your three position switch for your multifunction. And it has a 2T or 4T. So it's either a lift start in 2T or it's a high frequency start in 4T. This is your amperage control for TIG and for stick. When you're in MIG, it becomes your wire feed control. This is your a voltage control in in MIG and it's your downslope in TIG and arc force in stick. Wow. And then this is your uh, this is your waveform control. So it's like a frequency control when you're in AC or like doing aluminum. And then this is your uh, function switch for either steel, aluminum, or stainless. And then you have various settings for metal thickness. And then a volt gauge and a amperage or wire speed gauge, depending on what function you're actually in. We have the gas connection for your TIG gun. And then your positive lead and your negative lead. And this is the connection for the MIG gun. And then here is your electrical connection for your TIG. A lot going on right here. You know, there's a lot of cables on it. There's a, what looks like a really complicated control panel, but I think once you break it up into, well, these dials only work in this function, those dials only work in that function, I think it becomes a little more... Uh, more user-friendly, a little easier to understand once you think, well, now, wait a minute, there's three different machines hiding inside this little box. So let me turn it around and show you the back side. You just have your power cable and the on-off switch. And this is your connector for your gas. Now remember, this is a quarter-inch Euro connection. 
So you can buy this connector with the hose ready to go to the regulator on the bottle from longevity, but it does not come with the machine. You have to buy that separate or get your own connector and make up your own hose. Talk about gas for a minute. How are you doing gas for MIG and TIG? Well, you have to have two bottles. So you can either have two separate bottles that you switch back and forth depending on which function you're using, or you have a cart that will hold two bottles. You set up your argon for your TIG, you set up your mixed gas for your MIG, two, th two different hoses, two shutoffs into a Y, and then plug it into the back of the machine. So you can switch back and forth from one gas to the other. The other thing I, oh, I got to show you, well, this is where the MIG hangs out, is in here. So it'll handle up to an 11 pound spool of wire. So this is where your drive roller goes. Just unscrew it and change it out that way. A burn back control for the MIG to set how much wire actually is sticking out of the end of the nozzle when you let go of the trigger. It'll adjust that with that little knob. And then inside you have your controls for your MIG gun or your spool gun on this switch and then local control or remote control for whether you have like a foot pedal or you're running off the torch controls or whether you're just running like a scratch start and just working off the controls right on the front of the machine. You adjust, you know, set that in here. So it doesn't come with a foot pedal, but you can get one? Right, right. It does not come with a foot pedal, but you can get one for this machine. It is a spool gun capable, but it does not come with one. That is extra. So what's it run? This machine right now is on sale for uh, $1,100 on the website. So you buy, you're getting a 200 amp MIG, TIG, and stick, spool gun capable, for $300 a machine, wow, for the three different functions, all in this tiny little box. You can pick it up and carry it around if you have, you know, if you want to. You can take it somewhere else. Is it 110 or 220? Well, this one is 220. So, so you, you got to have at least that much amperage. So you need, uh, I think you need about 35 or 40 amps, you know, total to run the machine to have enough for the stick or, or the MIG. You know, TIG really doesn't take that much. So I'm going to set this up and play with it, and we'll see you next time.